Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be comparing 1980s and 90s Enshin Karate and modern Olympic Karate. Of course, we're going to be looking at the throws and at the same time the striking. The striking is going to be very much noticeable and how different it is, but it's going to put a dilemma in front of us whether I want to be 100% martial or I want to be high level athlete and very technical and keep it safe for the longevity of the athletes as the level gets higher. So uh, we're going to be looking at the Tokyo Olympics and at the same time, those very old and brutal uh, Enshin Karate. So first, let's start with uh, throws. And the first one you saw from the Tokyo Olympics was a Sasai Tsurikomi Ashi. Now, this throw, it needs a big turn with the upper body while blocking the lower body, uh, particularly around the shin level or the ankle, and it will create a big whirl and throwing your opponent. And in a discipline like karate, you will find yourself in a very good position to finish with a strike to the head. So that's the first one you will see. And the next one is a very prestigious uh, shoulder throw or Ippon Seoinage. And you saw in both uh, examples of karate or both expressions of karate that it was very well done, very much like uh, judo. Um, and this is a very, uh, this is a throw that you will see everywhere from the highest level to the lowest and in so many expressions. Uh, you see also is O Soto Otoshi and it's a major outer drop and it's about stomping your leg firmly and as back as possible and overwhelming the upper body downwards. You see it in a lot of disciplines and here you see it of course in Enshin Karate. So both have uh, good takedowns, Olympic and uh, Enshin Karate. You have to understand that there's many expressions, but this one here was just absolutely sublime. The rotation followed by a swift, effortless sweep. In a lot of striking arts, you see people blowing through the legs of their opponent. A lot of them are not sweeps. You have to understand this. If I'm kicking with all my might and blowing through someone's legs, that's a kick. But a sweep is something different. It's about the art of timing. It's about the art of effortlessly just continuing someone's motion into their own loss or their own detriment. And that's the beauty of a sweep. And it takes a life to master or years to master. But a lot of people just grab a leg that was trying to kick them and just kick the other leg. That's not a sweep. Even in judo, sometimes you see a big kick when someone is not moving. For example, here in Inoue, he was fighting a much larger opponent and he was trying to push him uh, to in order to get a movement going, in order to sweep. But here you see he started the movement greatly. Uh, his feet were moving, but at one point they were somewhat stable and he went through them with a bit of force. But here, this is another example where you see there was a lot of movement generated by his opponent and he was able to sweep cleanly through his legs. Let's see it again yeah, in slow motion. So as he takes a step, his opponent tries to follow. You see the legs are moving. So as he swept, it was much easier, even though Muneta is a shorter and stockier athlete. And uh, now uh, it's important to talk about the strikes. So I'm not a striker, but uh, it's it's good to see, for example, the expression of the athlete that took a kick to the head that it barely affected them in a sense. Um, you see very high level kicks. You see a lot of good technique and just something that not all people can do. Obviously, they're Olympic athletes, but Compared to the kicks you see in Enshin Karate, for example, in the intro of the video, it's not the same. You see the way they dropped, the, the KO, how it happened. It's just really not the same. And I can fully understand why and 
first of all you have the gears that they are wearing um, on their ankles and shins which will greatly reduce impact and that's good because now with all the science that we have on brain damage and what can what can it do in the long run not just in terms of concussions but uh, how it affects your mental health and many other problems in the future it can be something so here's the dilemma you want to be you know taste it fully and really go all out martial way or um, you want to be high level athlete good technique but at the same time always taking safety into consideration which will limit you in some ways much like judo again in judo i've always said this in throws such as kani uh, basami i will never fight for it to come back to competition because it's just a destructive throw that allows you no room for uh, giving up and it will just destroy your knees for example but here for example look at those kicks just look at just how they drop after that kick and you can see that they took a, a lot more damage compared to the olympic uh, athletes and there's no protection neither on the hands nor the feet and you can see that it is a different game it is a different expression and different rule set i don't know much about the modern rule set or uh, olympic uh, karate how it was in the same era as these people in the 80s and the 90s i don't know but you ask yourself these questions uh, is the damage worth it now personally i think that there should be two types you, sh you are always free to compete in whatever uh, competition you want to you have people who go and do no gi grappling and rip each other's knees or you have people competing in uh, ibjjf where they can only do a straight ankle lock uh, you are free to do both and if you are an adult and you're willing to take the risk please go for it but to standardize everything into one expression personally i'm against but you have to meet uh, both ways you can't be just either super extreme like dog fighting or uh, super restrictive in a sense and be incredibly safe at the expense of the martial art now techniques that are taken away just for the sake of expression i'm against it such as leg grabs and judo etc but everything else when it comes to safety of course there is arguments on both sides so please let me know down below what you think and consider supporting me on patreon this was shady and thank you for listening